So we go live now to the pit to Bethany Miller, who watched it all. Bethany, another tough loss for the Lobos. Ron, yeah, you say another loss for the Lobos, but it's really just their second so far this season on the year 14 and two. Of course, they lost to UNLV tonight. 84 77 was the final. Now they got into some foul trouble early on. Jalen House, Jamal Mashburn Jr. picking up two quick fouls right off the top of the game that really changed the way head coach Richard Patino coached this game. But the difference between last year and this year is he's got depth on the bench. And you're talking a couple more made free throws at the end. Maybe that made triple by KJ Jenkins late. And we could be talking about a very different outcome here tonight at the pit. But what I will say to you, Ron, is that the atmosphere here was insane. 15,424 fans were on hand to watch this matchup tonight. The First sellout in nearly a decade. But we just got to talk to Morris Udeze, the Lobo point leader, tonight, 22 to be exact. He said tonight the Lobos just didn't meet the challenge. We just didn't come out with the outcome we wanted. But like UNLV was just desperate today. They played hard and they came out in the second half with, uh, with the mentality that they wanted to win and we just didn't match their intensity and how they played and we got smacked in the face. And you know what happens, but it's just about how we bounce back on Monday. Well, of course, the runner rebels were just tougher and physical down the stretch, but it's going to be a quick turnaround. Oral Roberts riding a 10 game win streak is coming here to the pit to face another test for the Lobos. That tip off on Monday night is at 7 p.m. They're actually ranked higher in the net than UNLV is. So if the Lobos can bounce back with a big victory on Monday night, well, they'll probably be back on track. That wraps our coverage here tonight. Live at the pit for KOAT 7 Sports, I'm Bethany Miller.